Hi, my name is Luca. This video is coming from Italy. Ciao, mom. Uh, this is uh, about the Oppo Reno 4 Pro 5G. Uh, the name is so long that it takes two days to pronounce it, but the phone is very nice. Let's start from the beginning. One of the most important thing about the Oppo Reno 4 Pro 5G, I will never succeed in telling this uh, properly. Uh, so the Oppo Reno 4, and that's it, uh, it's very thin, this is very important, 7.6 millimeters, uh, and it's very light, just 172 grams, which is kind of a miracle in this period when uh, the other phones are very, very heavy. Let's start from the display. AMOLED display with 7.55 inches size, HDR 10 plus, uh, refresh rate 90 Hz, the definition is Full HD+. You can read it perfectly even under the direct sunlight and you have no problem in using the display even with a lot of light around you. Uh, the response with the touch is uh, quite fast, so you can use this phone with no problem thanks to the 90 Hz refresh rate and a very good touch response even with gaming. So, for the display, thumbs up. The platform um, around which the phone has been built is uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G, quite powerful. It's not the flagship uh, processor, but it's very good. And it's not a case if a lot of uh, producers uh, use this processor this year to produce very important phone. Oppo Reno 4 uh, Pro works very well. Um, there are two versions with 8 GB of RAM or 12 GB of RAM and with 128 or 256 GB of internal memory. What I don't like is that the internal memory is with the UFS 2.1 standard. It means it's slower when you read and when you write data on the memory and it consumes much more energy while doing this kind of activity. But, after all, we have to say that the specs of the, this phone are pretty good. Oh, I was forgetting! Uh, there is no uh, extension for the memory, there is no card slot available. As per the camera, this is one of the good things of this phone. 48 megapixel main sensor, uh, 13 megapixel telephoto with 2 per optical zoom, and 12 megapixel wide-angle camera with 120 degrees and with a dedicated video camera for autofocus. So, this is a very uh, strong camera platform uh, with the capacity to shoot videos with 4K standard resolution uh, with ultra steady stabilization. Oppo uh, thinks uh, it's uh, really relevant and it writes uh, ultra steady here under the camera. And actually the results are really impressive uh, because when you shoot a video with ultra steady on it's like using a gimbal. Uh, really uh, good performance. And what is nice is that you have a bokeh effect on video recording as well and as I told you 4K resolution. With the front camera, 32 megapixel, uh, you get video with full HD resolution. The camera is not bad, not good. It's so and so, it's enough, I would say. But the camera platform of uh, this phone is really, really interesting and the final results of video and pictures are really, really good. On the connections side, you have 5G available. Um, of course, it's not so relevant in many countries, but you have it anyway, uh, in case uh, the operators should get the 5G network in your area too, you will be ready to uh, use it. Uh, there is no Wi-Fi 6 and this is a pity because I think in 2020 now all of the phones should have uh, the Wi-Fi 6. Uh, um, for the other specs it's quite average but I have to say that the general quality of this phone is really really high. Battery is one of the most important things we should talk about. There are 4,000 millimeter, uh, milliampere hour uh, inside the battery, but this is not the very important thing. What is really relevant is the charger, it's a 65 watts charger. 
it means that it goes from 0 to 100% in 36 minutes. That is uh, really uh, incredible and uh, I think it's one of the fastest phones on the market uh, for charging time. So this is one of the very important features of Oppo Reno uh, 4. So, before leaving you and letting you go, I have recorded a few videos using the Oppo Reno Pro live on the street, so let's have a look. So this is a video shot with the Oppo Reno 4 Pro 5G while moving around, just shaking a little bit, not too much, but shaking a little bit and facing even quite clear contrast in the light. The light is pretty good, I have to say. But as you can see, even if you move quite heavily the phone, the image remains steady. And this is the uh, use of the selfie camera with a video with a bokeh effect, which is really interesting and well done even with just one single uh, camera. Uh, the light and, and this occasion is nearly perfect, so the result is uh, uh, really uh, interesting. I really love the way uh, the Oppo Reno 4 Pro G, 4 5G, 3 tra boom, beam, bam, uh, shoot videos. Very nice. <laughs> So you saw the Oppo Reno 4 Pro 5G uh, in action, uh, I hope you like it. Um, if, if you have uh, any kind of question, please ask it down here. Uh, please subscribe to the channel uh, if you like those uh, videos and I hope to see you soon. Thank you for me, Dali arrivederci! We don't say it like this, but it's good anyway. Ciao! <laughs>